Hi everyone, welcome back to today's video. So today's video is really, really exciting um, and it is a absolutely humongous, Jesus, it literally takes up the whole camera. This is probably the biggest order from Pretty Little Thing that I've ever done. I wasn't actually expecting to film this video today. I've been waiting for my parcel for literally what feels like forever. Um, I ordered it for next day delivery about three days ago and it has only just arrived. I will say Pretty Little Thing were amazing. They've actually refunded me um, my next day delivery fees, which is incredible. Nearly £200 on all of this stuff. So you guys have got a good haul coming in. Okay, I guess I'll just like... Ooh. So the first thing I've got here is obviously something I can't try on, but it is the Filter by Molly May Tanning Mousse, and this is in shade Extra Dark. Now, I do have fake tan on now. It is slowly starting to come off, I think, um, but I have got fake tan on. I've never used Ultra Dark before, but I do use Dark, and I do find that I have to use quite a lot of layers for it to pay off, and I've heard amazing things about this. So I'll have to update you guys on how I get on with it, but I'm really, really excited to give this a go. Like always, I am going to be overlaying clips with me trying them on, so you guys can have a little look. So the first thing I'm going to try on is the Camel Soft Touch Bolted Knit Jumper Dress. Um, now, this looked really, really nice online, so I'm really excited. Oh, this feels good. It's gorgeous sort of like camel brown colour. Um, I'm really glad it's come up this colour, actually, because I was really scared it would come a lot darker in person. So this is what it looks like. It's got quite a nice little funnel neck. Um, like I said, I got this in a size 10, um, and it has a little belt around it that you tie. So I'm going to go and try this on, and we're going to see what we think. So this is obviously what it looks like. Um, I don't think this is very flattering on me at all. Oh my god. I feel like it really boxes me in. I feel like it doesn't look very flattering. Um, and I feel like it's making me look a lot bigger than I am. I think the neckline is really, really nice. Um, and if it was a jumper, I would, like, if it literally just, like, cut off here by my waist, I would 100% wear this. Because I really like the material and I love the colour and I love the neck. But as soon as it gets past my waist and it becomes the dress... I'm not a fan. <laughs> this one is a no. I think I'm going to have to pass on this one. Sorry, PLT. This one is not for me. The next thing I've got here is the Sage Green Button Front Cardigan. Um, now, I love the trend of the thin cardigans at the minute with a nice pair of jeans. I think they look really nice. When I saw this one on the website, it looked like a Zara cardigan, and I think that's why I liked it. So this is what it looks like. Oh my god, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. So I got this in a size small, but the size small is actually really big. I don't say this often, but I think I actually could have got away with an extra small. It was quite nice quality, to be fair, and I love the colour. I think the colour is so nice and flattering. Um, I don't have anything this colour. Okay, so you guys know the drill. We're going to try this on and we're going to see what we think. Okay, so this is what the cardigan looks like. I've really, really tried to tuck it into my jeans. But like I said before, it does actually feel really big. It's just quite oversized. It didn't say it was oversized online, so I didn't think it would be. I really, really like it though. The colour is really nice. The sleeves are nice. The material feels nice and soft. It actually feels really, really good quality. I actually really, really like this. I think it's so... So cute, I love the colour. I feel like this would look nice on any complexion. It's actually really comfortable as well. I'm actually really, really surprised about this one because I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do. Okay, this is something I was really, really excited for. So this is actually part of the Molly May collaboration and it is the Pebble Oversized Pocket Front Blazer. So I picked this up in a size 10 just because I do tend to size up in jackets. Um, I always have, I do prefer them a little bit bigger and oversized. I don't like tight fitted jackets very often on me. This is what it looks like. It's got some nice padding uh, in the shoulders. It's a really nice colour. It's like this gorgeous stone colour. It actually looks really, really nice. Oh, that's funny. So it actually has one of these on them. You know, like you get when you order from like O'Poly. I'm assuming, obviously, if you take this off, you can't return. But yeah, let's give this a go and see what it looks like. Let's hope that I look like Molly May, because, I mean, how amazing would that be? Okay, next we have the Molly May blazer, which I'm really, really excited for. Oh my god, it like loops around, that's so funny. Okay, I actually really, really like this. I think it's so nice. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. Um, it's actually really comfortable. The sleeves are nice and long, so I feel like you could even like roll them up. I think that's how Molly May was wearing them. Oh my god, rolled up, they look so nice. Oh, I like it. This is so nice. I feel like you could really wrench these up as well and it would look really cool, sort of like this. Um, now, this blazer, I think, was nearly £30, which is quite a lot of money, but the quality, it does surprisingly feel really nice. Now, I've paired it with one of my Zara bodysuits and a belt and some Topshop jeans, just because this is probably how I would wear it, or I'd probably have some leather trousers on. Either way, it would be paired sort of similar to this. I just really, really like it. It just feels really comfortable and doesn't feel too structured, but structured enough for it to look quite smart. 
and you could easily make this quite dressy or quite casual so I'm really really impressed with this one okay moving on we have got something that I was really really excited about although now that I'm feeling it it's very different quality than I thought it would be it feels really like thin and almost like silky I didn't expect this. Okay, so this is the brown check oversized shirt. I got this in a size 10 as well um, because I would wear it sort of open as a jacket. Again, it's got one of these little tag things here. Essentially, I thought the material of this was going to be like your classic like flannel jacket. I've actually got one in my cupboard. I'm going to grab it out just so I can show you. This is what I mean. So if you guys can see the material of this, it's quite thick and comfortable. And then I look at this one and this one feels really like silky and smooth. It literally feels like a dress. I don't know, I'm not sure what I'm going to think of that. Again, we'll try it on and we'll see what we think. Okay, so this is the check jacket. Oh my god, I actually really, really like this. I know I said I wasn't a huge fan of the material, but from a distance, it still looks like your average sort of, I don't know, almost like a terry cloth material. It looks really, really nice. I just think it looks good with this outfit. I've paired it with um, a Zara bodysuit, some Topshop jeans and a belt just because this is how I would wear it. Again, like I did with the blazer. Um, but I just think it looks nice. It looks really nice with the tan. It's very autumnal. I love the colours. And you could also do this up as well. Oh, yeah, I really like this style. You could wear this with like leather trousers or something and this would look really, really cool with some like Chelsea boots. I think I'm definitely going to keep this one. I absolutely love it. The next thing I've got is something, again, I'm really, really excited for. This is the Black Polka Dot Mesh Runched Frill Hem Bodycon Dress. Okay, that was like a paragraph. <laughs> On the model, this looked quite elasticated, so I did decide to get this in an 8 just to see. I mean, I really hope it fits. And I have actually bought this for an occasion. So it's one of my friends 21st coming up in the next couple of weeks, and we're going to go for bottomless brunch. And we're going dressy, so I saw this online and thought it looked really pretty. Again, it's very runched, it does look very small. I really hope this fits. Oh my god, I really hope this fits, otherwise I'm going to have to get a different size. The material's really nice, it actually feels really nice quality, I love the pattern. Um, yeah, and this I think this one was literally £18. I mean, I'll link everything down below so you guys can see how much they cost. Um, and I'll try and pop it on screen as well so you guys can see. But yeah, I think for £18 this is really, really good. And obviously I've got my student discount on top of that. Okay, so I've tried the dress on, um, and I like it, but my concern is it's very short. Like, I don't actually want to show you past here. Now, I do have quite long legs, um, and it isn't in the tall section, it is in the regular section, but it's not a petite, so I don't know why it's come up so short. I think it is a nice dress, and I think it's very flattering, but I just think it's a very awkward shape and it's not very long, so I'm not too sure about this one. I'm definitely going to have to have a think about this one because there are aspects of it that I really, really love, but then I just wish it was a bit longer and it wasn't so short, so I'm definitely going to have to think. And then the final thing within the big bag is this gorgeous dress. So this is the grey woven tiered hem sweat jumper dress in size 8. Again, it's similar with a lot of things that I've bought. It's quite oversized, or it looked very oversized on the model, so I decided to get a size 8 because I thought that if I got a larger size and I sized up, it might have been too big for me. Oh, okay, this is really pretty. So this is what it looks like. It's very, like, sophisticated. Um, so this is what it looks like on top. It's just, like, your basic um, grey jumper, sweater, sweatshirt. Um, but at the bottom, it is part at the bottom, let me tell you, because we have got some really lovely frills. Um, and this is obviously what the dress looks like. And it just gave me... Zara and H&M vibes like I would not expect to see us on Pretty Little Thing but I was so excited that I did so I think this was about £22 I want to say I will obviously put it on um, but I'm really excited to try this one on so let's go have a look okay so this is the sweatshirt sort of shirt dress it's really really nice I actually do really like it it flows really good um, it's obviously meant to be sort of like a swing dress material which is really nice Obviously, if you're somebody that prefers something a bit more tight-fitting, you could probably put a belt around this and it would look really, really nice. But, I actually don't mind it. It's not too bad. It's really comfortable as well. I feel like with tights and boots, this would be so pretty. Um, yeah, I actually quite like this one. It's really nice. I think my favourite part of it is the bottom. I think the bottom's so pretty and like elegant and it looks really nice. And it makes me look really tanned, which is a win-win. <laughs> Okay, so that was everything for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the format of me actually trying the clothes on and talking them through with you as opposed to what I usually used to do with my other videos. And yeah, if you guys are still here, 
Thank you. You know, you've made it. It's been a long one, but we're still all here. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps me out. It means the world to me. And honestly, when I see how many of you are already subscribed, it is just so exciting and I can't wait. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.